Today, there's a new word for modern in pickup truck design. It's Fordward. That's the way you'll go in new Ford trucks for 1959. Go Fordward with power. Power in all four wheels. Ford's new four-wheel drive pickups give you traction enough for a six-foot ditch or a 60% grade. They're yours at low Ford prices, too. Go Fordward for savings with one of 13 different Ford pickups to choose from for 59. See them now at your Ford dealer. You'll see the difference. You'll save the difference when you go Fordward in the new Ford trucks for 59. to drop my paints or fire a rocket. <laughs> Forgive me, I've sort of gotten ahead of myself a couple times here lately. Um, I'm going in right now and putting insulation slash like sound deadener in, and this is self-adhesive. I've only done a couple of strips so far, but it's been really easy. I'm getting ready to put my headliner in. So since we last spoke, I have also went in and uh, put in a uh, three-point harness. A little tip right here for for putting in three-point harness into vehicles that have never had it. I use a zip tie to hold on the, the, the back plate that, that a bolt in here screws into. And so I held that just as a way to make sure that I didn't drop that plate all the way back in there. So I just held it, sort of stuck my hand down in here and bolted that right up. So now in a vehicle that never had uh, seat belts, I have a three-point harness now. So uh, I am doing that and then putting my insulation in and my headliner should be in uh, sometime this upcoming week. So just thought I'd stop down for a minute to show you all some of the progress of the uh, stuff I've been doing. So another thing that you can do to try to alleviate some of the thudding sound that you hear whenever you shut some of these old doors is to put that same insulation that I put up here on the roof, it's done now. It's very quick and easy. Um, and it's pretty close to being straight all the way around. You won't even see it though once the, uh, the deal goes on. But anyways, uh, you go in and you can put this insulation. Someone had did this, uh, I guess, before I got it. Um, but someone had already did a little bit of this. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the panel uh, that goes on the door right there. I'm just gonna put it right here on the back side. Uh, I've already rubbed this down with some alcohol. I did that with the roof as well. So just make sure you use alcohol to sort of, you know, clear the surface so that you get better adhesion. So uh, I'll put some on this panel and then open and shut the door again. Let's see what it sounds like without it on. You know, granted there's a little bit in there. So let's see what it sounds like. Pretty loud. So I'll go back and uh, we'll shoot this video here in just a second. Okay, it has been re or it has been installed just to this panel right here because there was already some on the inside. And let's see if it sounds any different. Shit, I don't know. It sounds a little bit more solid. It does sound different. I don't know. I don't know how much different, but I mean I didn't go in and line all the inside of the door or anything like that. Just on the panel. So I don't know. We'll see what it sounds like in playback. Headliner. So 
what I got in today from National Parts Depot is a dome light cover, the gasket, and then I got this uh, new headliner. It's uh, ABS plastic and uh, it's sort of hard to see without good lighting in here. But uh, it's got a nice little texture to it. Um, and I'm gonna get it installed. Yeah. So I have pretty much everything, and sorry about the loudness of my fan if y'all can hear that, but I've got everything pretty much insulated now. That insulation I used was super, super easy to install. And uh, so I'm fixing to uh, get that uh, headliner installed. Yeah! It's been so long since I've really driven this truck. I was looking at going out trying to figure out how to get this bulb up here to work and everything. And uh, I got over here and started tinkering uh, with the light switch. That bulb, that bulb has been in there for 20 years, man. So freaking awesome. So uh, I've got the, uh, I had to get it, this is broke right here, but I've got another cover of that coming in. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to get this uh, headliner installed. Allow me to rant and rave for just a second. For the small window, even though this is the wrong picture, 155.30 for the ABS. Cardboard, just like mine, 149 cardboard for the small window 149 but to get the big window and the abs plastic 269 what a joke what a rip off but this was the only place i could find it guys and girls i'm gonna be honest this first part whooped my rear it is not quite the exact size that it needs to be and uh, me and it had fits you can still see a little bit of bow, but I think that's all going to be, you won't be able to see that here in just a minute whenever I put the little side pieces up, but holy smokes, that sucked. Okay, after some sweating and some probably a little bit of cursing, it is installed. Um, it was not the easiest. It's not as easy as what I thought it'd be. There's a little bit of a buckle right there, but other than that, I mean, this side... It come in real nice. Um, so I'm waiting on my new cover and stuff, but, uh, and I took the mirror down. I felt like that helped a little bit, but other than that little bit of a buckle, it finally went in. Uh, all right, all right, all right. And now, boom. Sweet. Well, Got one more going from red to black. Gonna be spray painting uh, the hinges or whatever the heck that's called. That metal stuff. Gonna spray paint that black. And then I've got new uh, visors coming. Good old nice empty hole. Okay, got my new visors installed yesterday. Got my new mirror installed. Happy, happy, happy. Pretty nice. I'll see, I haven't really rode down the road with them yet to see if they're gonna really hold in place. But uh, glad to have it, man. It's coming together, yeah!